everybody, welcome back. This is Skadoosh, and we're going to pick up uh, where we, a little bit after we left off, a little bit of time has passed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and load our game uh, from Skadoosh, and go ahead and load that up. Uh, if you remember last time, we talked about uh, just kind of clearing out the area and getting some supplies, and I've pretty much done that. So take a look around. You can see I cleared out the, uh, the basic area uh, locally, created a larger farm. Obviously, I've planted a few more um, crops and trees. Some of these trees are ready. Some of these trees are not ready. Uh, to bear fruit, but they're getting along. Looks like one of these trees didn't want to grow, so that may be a problem. I'll figure that out later. Um, got a pretty decent supply of starting stuff. Uh, killed a cat, and uh, ready to go. So I wanted to show you uh, some more advanced stuff. This is what my guy looks like. Oh, no, never, um, beep, 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 beep. So every time you log in for now, uh, your avatar changes, and I see something in the background right behind me right there here 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 anyway so don't don't sweat your appearance if you log in log out you may be blonde you maybe got a longer haircut short haircut who knows you also have a uh, a height weight thing that changes as well and you actually there's, there's a there's a slight aging uh progression that that occurs uh during the the life of a uh, they call them a seed your character all right so enough of that and that's that is a cat. All right, so let's make sure we have our yada yadas ready, and we'll come back to what we were doing. Is he going away? He's not going too far because I want to smack him in the butt with a sword. What's up, kitty? Meow meow. Meow meow. Hey, whoa, kitty! You're pissed off. I know. I know. You're angry. I know. You're you're not very friendly. All right. So he was he was kind of not a happy kitty. Find my knife. Skin his junk. Where about my knife? I'm trying to get organized and I lose all my stuff. Yeah. So as you see, they, they take a pretty decent uh, chunk of health every time they hit you. You only hit me once, luckily. Because I was running back like a chicken with my head cut off. And again, look for that. There it is. The cat indicator to pop up. And then skin them. Or, or goat. Depending on... Oh, am I full? Yeah, I'm full. Well, goodbye, rock. Hello, two. All right, so let's go over here and take a look at what we got. And I'll show you these little piles here in a second. These are all little um, things we're going to build and talk about in today's episode. Drop me some meats. Drop me one of these. What else we got? You got one of these I don't need. Put that over there. Drop, uh, I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. I don't need... That right. Well, I do actually need that for later, and that for later, and that's the same thing. And my toothpicks, I see it over there. I'm gonna stick it in the pile. Sorry, while I OCD my piles. Uh, this goes over here. Little boop. Come on, seriously, seriously, seriously. There we go. Yes, it's that bad. All right, my vines over here, and my flat rock over here. My little stack of flat rocks. Kind of like building a, a tower of flat rocks. Anyway. Alright, that's enough space for now. I think we have enough to get going what we need to have happen. Let me drop this one stick here. We don't need it. Alright, so I've set up these little piles here to show you guys uh, some of the basic um, crafting stations. And uh, these will enable you to do some special things, uh, create some more advanced tools, and uh, kind of move along in your progression. So, um, I told you there was no crafting grid, but there is a crafting table. It's actually called a, a, a crude workbench. Uh, and the ingredients are assembled here in front of us. Four of these branches, three of these chopped wood, and four vines. And if we just hit craft, since I have this so nicely laid out for us and ready to go, Bing! We get a nice crude workbench. Now, um, everything except for one of the workbench type things, the campfire, can be picked up and relocated. Picked up and relocated. Picked up and dropped. Or whatever you want to do. So don't sweat it where you make them for right now. Only the campfire is the tricky one. And I'll show you how to get around that a little bit um, here in a moment. So let's go ahead and take this over to 
this general area. Just stick it right there. And we'll come look at this next piece. Here we have two pieces of the chopped wood, two pieces of the wood shaft, and three large leaves. Now these large leaves again come from these kind of fern-like, uh, you see right there is a cluster of them, large leafed, there's ferns here as well, uh, plants. Oh, there's some right here next to me because I could have just shown you these. Wow, because I'm paying attention. Uh, so these will make a crude bed because you're going to sleep on sticks and leaves because you're kind of a caveman. And again, you can pick it up and move it wherever you'd like. So we're just going to stick it over here for right now and get it out of the way. Uh, the next piece we have is a pumpkin, vines, and some wood shafts. But we must take the pumpkin first over to the crude workbench and do a little Halloween carving on it. So just place it on there, no tool necessary, and hit craft and you'll get a pumpkin shell. Now, I love these pumpkin shells um, for a couple of reasons. Some people dig holes in the ground and they put their stuff in it. I use pumpkin shells because if I'm not going to eat them, and hello, I've got four or five of them, and they're, they're kind of large. They make excellent, uh, here, I'll just show you. They make excellent uh, ways to hold things. So if I take my pumpkin shell and I drop in a, I'll even do it individually. Just keep on going. Get some of these, put them in there. Make me a little fruit salad. So they make an excellent makeshift container uh, since containers in the game are not technically uh, implemented yet. And instead of digging a hole in the ground and, and dropping your junk in a hole, just grow some pumpkins and, and carve out the shell. So you have this really nice container. It looks kind of decorative and it holds your stuff. But yeah, that's kind of cool, huh? Just kind of hovering in the air. Uh, there's another, uh, I'm always getting sidetracked. So a real neat little thing is once something stops moving, the physics should uh, lock it into place so that it actually becomes, there you go. So you can actually stand on it now instead of kicking it. So you have a few seconds when you put something down first to move it physically like that. You can adjust the position. But once it kind of settles and a few seconds later, it'll lock into position and no longer move. So that when you do put a fruit on top of something, and then you take something out from under it, it's kind of hovering in there, which is kind of funny, but hey, what are you doing? Uh, that's the way it works, just for the physics. So back to what we were doing with the pumpkin and not being goofy. So we carved the pumpkin on the table. Uh, it didn't quite look like a jack-o'-lantern, but it did give us a pumpkin shell. And we're going to take that pumpkin shell back to our little pile of uh, wood shafts, three of those, and our vines, I believe two of those. This should be correct. Put that all together, and what do you got? But a bump, a pumpkin cauldron. That was a bad song, I know. So you get this really cool pumpkin cauldron. So what this is for is for the creation of potions, potions that can give you more health, give you more energy, uh, durability on your tools and weapons, etc. So really nice. Again, you can pick it up and move it wherever you'd like. Uh, you can stick it back on top of here if you want. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is stick it over here for right now, and we're going to talk about the fireplace, uh, campfire. Campfire is what they call it. So the campfire is one of those things that you can't move uh, once you've placed it. You can break it um, and then uh, replace it. Uh, sorry, not, not replace it, rebuild it, because you can't replace it. Once you break it, it actually just gives you a piece of coal, which is why I have one here. I was testing something. Um, I haven't done any mining, so this coal is just from that one campfire. Put that there for now. And my cherry seeds. Um, so it's kind of tricky. And the way you build a campfire is with a flat rock, two hammer rocks, and I have it here, so I'll just use these. I don't need this. And I need this and this. So the way you build a campfire is by placing a flat rock down. Now I want my campfire to be, let's just let's just choose this dirt area here, right? Let me move this out of the way. So if I want the campfire to be dead center right here, <clears throat> I have to use this flat rock. But if you look at the flat rock, you can see it's got a, a flat side, duh, and a kind of a beveled or edged side. 
you see that different direction here. It's kind of edged on one side and, you know, 90 degree perpendicular, whatever you want to call it, flat side on the other side. There's also a little, little divot right there. When you create your item, it will fall uh, the campfire to this side, the slanted side of the flat rock. And if you, all right, you see that right there? That's a notation that I'm hungry. If you look at my energy, is low, and my health is actually sl starting to deplete. Sorry, getting sidetracked. Look at me looking, paying attention. So I'm going to eat some cherries. Nom, 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 on your mom. Bomb, bada, bomb, bada, bomb, bada, bomb, bomb. All right, enough of that jump. So, back to the campfire. So, if we want the campfire to be where this flat rock is, we must put the flat rock back a little bit. Because it's going to come right about here. So anyway, take your uh, hammer rocks, two of those, and three pieces of the chopped wood, and then simply craft. And you will get a nice bada-bing, bada-boom, campfire, right about where we wanted it. Kind of cool, huh? Now, like I said before, you cannot, you can't pick it up. You can't move it. And when it goes out, the way to restoke it is simply have one of these chop woods like I have in my hand and right click and you'll, it'll restart the fire for another few moments and you can you can continue to cook things. Speaking of, let's cook up some meats. Alright, so our meats, hello, just drop that straight away. Just drop them next to the campfire and hit craft and it's going to come out right there. Boom. So now you know the crafting for the campfire comes out in this direction. So if you want to think ahead, maybe build yourself a little fire pit out of some rocks. I like to do this just for aesthetics. It doesn't do anything. Um, you can go ahead and do that ahead of time. Another thing you want to pay attention to is you'll need some of this uh, next to it to craft and create hardwoods. So, uh, seriously? All right, I'll let that sit there for a second. So let's do some of the hardwoods. Let's take uh, the shaft. Give me the shaft. And I think, actually, you know what? I'm going to transmute these two because that. And my transmute table's over here. Remember that transmutation I told you about? This is where this comes in handy because I don't have another shaft. So I want this to give me another shaft. Sweet. A little bit of energy goes by, which is basically your hunger. They should just change that to hunger. Um, and I get another shaft. So I want this, and I want this, and that's it. And I'm going to put this down here, like that. And I'm going to put this uh, chopped wood in my hand. So I'm going to try to craft up some hardwoods out of the chopped wood and the wooden shafts. And I'll show you why here in a moment. Uh, so just simply have a chopped wood in your hand, right click the fire, and boom, it starts it up again. Go ahead and start your crafting and just keep it underway until it's all complete. It'll, it'll pick and choose whatever it wants to do first. So if you have a large pile of items here, it may not get the one you want done first. So be selective of what you put down. But you can continue to hit craft until the fire goes out and craft all the items that are basically around it. All right? So there we go. We got... Let me do one more. All right. So we got these hardwoods now that came from the other wood. Uh, it was a chopped wood. And we got these hardened wood shafts, which came from the wood shafts. So, pretty neat. Let's take a look at what we can do with these things. Uh, la 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 la, boom ba -dum. Uh, With the crafting table, and I'll just put it right there. So, if I take one of these hardened wood shafts, uh, hardened wood, yeah, hardened wood shafts, Put it on a crafting table with nothing in my hand. It doesn't matter. I can have something in my hand if I want to. I don't, I don't need any specific tools. Craft it up. It's going to basically break it in half and give me two wooden, hardened wooden handles. Now, currently, I'm not set up, and I haven't even started to mine ores yet. So uh, at a, in a later um, Let's Play, we'll, we'll cover how ores work and how to start smelting and doing your metallurgy. Uh, but for right now, I just wanted to show you while I'm sitting here looking at this how this all works together all right so these these handles are actually part of the more advanced tools 
So you, you remember how we had these things here, these wooden handles for the rock tools. These hardened handles are for when we create the bronze metal tools. All right? So kind of neat. Very simple uh, way to interface with that and, and get the supplies you need. Can I only stack? Okay, I was going to say, can I stack four? And uh, stack four of these hard ones right there. And I'll just hold on to the meats because you only stack them two. Actually, you know what? Doesn't matter. There's no germs here. <laughs> okay, so now we've looked at that. We've got a campfire. We've got a um, crude workbench and a pumpkin cauldron. Now, one thing you want to do, uh, you will want to do, because the pumpkin cauldron won't be much use for you other than aesthetics, is to place the pumpkin cauldron over yes I'm that seriously there we go I just like it centered it, it could just be close it honestly can just be close um, you want to place it near the fire pit which is no longer a campfire it's now a fire pit um, the reason is in order to boil boil thermal and oil and I have newt in order to make potions you have to have a fire to boil the ingredients. So this will be a common sight for you once you get into the point of making uh, potions. So um, along those same lines, let's talk about how we start to make potions. Uh, I won't go into the actual potion details, maybe we'll go into that later, uh, but what we'll need is a gourd. And again, like the pumpkin, the gourd can be hollowed out simply by placing it on the crafting table and hollowing it out. Luckily, you also get the seeds. If you didn't notice, I also got the, the pumpkin seeds from earlier. I stuck them over there. But now you get this gourd shell. And this gourd shell... Oops. <laughs> it would help if I actually put it there. Looks like this. It kind of loses a little bit of its glowy effect. You know, it's not glowing. But it does... Uh, serve a purpose, and you will, what you'll do is you'll come over here, and you will place. Uh, well, let's, let's just do it. Um, place that here. Uh, I don't know one off the top of my. Oh, you know what? Seeds. Seeds do it. So any kind of seed, put that down. In fact, just to show you, it doesn't have to be a pumpkin seed. It can be a cherry seed. And put the cherry seed down. And I need choppy, choppy, choppy wood. Chop wood. So this is how you would go about um, not that uh, creating a potion. You get your setup like this. You would light your fire. You see the bubbles? Craft and make me a freaking liar. All right, this craft. No. Oh. oh. One more thing. Ha-ha! Brainiac. All right, so the gourd shell is great and all, but you need to put a vine around it because they're smart to make a gourd flask. So now, smarty, smarty pants, put the gourd flask down, your cherry seed down, and hit craft. Ha-ha! I knew these things. I just didn't know that I knew these things. And look at that. You get a really cool looking health potion. What do you need, huh? Let's put the health potion on the table so you can see it. Meh. Boom. Pretty cool. I love the little bubble animations. I think they're neat. They're a little bright, but they, I, I think it's cool. A little spillage. It's kind of cool looking. Etc. And then my fire went out. Yay. That's it. That's the basics of how you do... Um, I guess this would be alchemy. So this is alchemy. Um, pretty neat. I think it's really, really cool. They're, they've already got these systems in play in the game, uh, ready to go. And the health potion has multiple uses. It fills up a decent amount. Uh, and I would suspect that if you were near death, it would probably fill you up all the way from one potion. I don't really know. I've never really tested it, to tell you the truth. Um, but that's the general idea of how that works. So there you go. We have built a crude workbench. We built a campfire and learned how to use the um, flat rocks to the, to the best of our ability to position the, the campfire. 
Uh, we learned how to relight our campfire, make a pumpkin cauldron and place it, and create uh, flasks, as well as how to make a potion. And a bed. Oh, bed. So here's a cool thing. Uh, it's nighttime. You see stars. Oh, look at pretty stars. It's dark, which you can see is very dark. So the bed basically pushes forward time six, seven hours-ish um, in the game. And here we are. You see the time kind of rolling. And I can move again. Here we go. I can move again. And now it's daytime. It does not switch from night to day. Uh, it just simply advances the time. So if you sleep in the middle of the daytime, it'll become night or later in the afternoon. Um, so that's about it. This would be a quick one. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas of what you would like me to do next. I will just continue to work on clearing the area, getting the area set up. Um, if I do anything major important or if I decide to start maybe building a structure um, and whatnot, I'll go down that path and I'll record it for you and play it back. If you have any questions at all, I'll use the best of my abilities to give you my knowledge of how I play the game and what I know of the game. Um, but that's, that's about it for this session. Uh, this is, again, Skadoosh signing off. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.